So we've gone over the basic structure of the mitochondria and the chloroplast. So now let's get to the exciting part where we actually look at what happens in those organelles. So what happens during cellular respiration and photosynthesis. First of all, let's think about why photosynthesis and cellular respiration are so important to living things. So photosynthesis, um, remember, it takes the sun's energy to make food. And the sun is the ultimate energy source for Earth. So basically, all energy that we have on Earth is because of the sun. And photosynthesis harnesses that energy so that all organisms can use it. Photosynthetic organisms, like plants, are the base of, of food chains. So everything's food comes from photosynthetic organisms, and all of that energy comes from the sun. Cellular respiration is really important because all living organisms need energy for all sorts of different purposes throughout their lives. Um, for movement, to get food, to get mates, to find shelter, all of those things require energy. Also, just getting rid of toxins in, in the body, that takes energy. Also, main, maintaining homeostasis or a steady state. So, the, um, our bodies maintain homeostasis in a lot of different ways. One of those ways is temperature. You know how our temperature is usually right around 98.6 degrees? Well, it takes energy to keep it there. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration are kind of neat because they're very similar processes and they actually feed each other. So um, what's made in photosynthesis um, goes into cellular respiration and what's made in cellular respiration goes into photosynthesis. So photosynthesis happens in plant cells. It also happens in some bacteria and also some protists like green algae. And as you know, it takes place in the chloroplasts the organelle, the chloroplasts in plant cells. And what happens is photosynthesis takes light energy from the sun. That light energy comes into the chloroplast. And what happens is what also comes into the chloroplast is carbon dioxide and water. So plants take in carbon dioxide through their leaves. They draw up water through their roots. And inside the chloroplast, with the help of that sun's energy, the plant can rearrange the carbon dioxide molecules into organic molecules like sugar, and then the plant gives off oxygen. So again, in photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water come into the plant, the sun's energy comes in, and in the chloroplast, with that sun's energy, the plant's able to turn the carbon dioxide molecules into organic molecules like sugars and release oxygen. Now in cellular respiration, this happens in all euka eukaryotic organisms. Remember, eukaryotes are the ones with the true nucleus, and that includes plants. Plants, animals, uh, protists, fungus. So everything um, with a nucleus We'll also have mitochondria, and mitochondria is the organelle where cellular respiration takes place. And what happens is those organic molecules and the oxygen, the products of photosynthesis, are the things that are taken in for cellular respiration. So instead of saying uh, organic molecules, we can think of that as food. So the food we eat, the carbohydrates, the proteins, those are the organic molecules here. So think about, well, we take in food. We also take in oxygen, right? So we breathe and we eat, and those are the inputs for cellular respiration. Well, what happens in cellular respiration is that food and oxygen gets um, turned into cellular energy, or ATP. And then the byproducts of that are the things that we breathe out, and that's carbon dioxide, and water. You probably knew that we breathed out carbon dioxide, but maybe not water. But um, have you ever been out in um, really cold weather and when you breathe you can actually see your breath? Well that's actually the water vapor. So those are the two things that we breathe out. And then again, these byproducts of cellular respiration, the things that we breathe out, are the inputs for photosynthesis. So it's like a cycle.
Now the equations for photosynthesis and re cellular respiration, because the outputs of one are the inputs of the other, the equations are basically just the reverse of each other, which, which makes it a little bit easier to remember. So in photosynthesis, the inputs or the reactants, when we have an equation, the stuff to the left of the arrow, the stuff over here is called the reactants, and then the stuff on the right of the arrow, those are the products. So in photosynthesis, the reactants are sunlight, so the plant gets the energy from the sun, also carbon dioxide and water, so plants take in carbon dioxide and, and water, and then the products are sugar, organic, so sugars, and then oxygen. So those are the two things that the plant is making through photosynthesis. In cellular respiration, the products from photosynthesis are the reactants in cellular respiration. So the things that um, come in for cellular respiration are sugars and oxygen, the products, the things that are made, energy, ATP, and then carbon dioxide and water, the things that we breathe out. So these are the basics of cellular respiration and photosynthesis. We'll build on these with some more details in the days to come. Have a great night.